Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and for last few weeks I was not uploading my videos on my channel and my channel was you know deleted because of some YouTube problem. Now I am back with my channel and YouTube has helped me to restore my channel so uh, I would be uh, producing more content related to website, uh, WordPress, digital marketing or all the things. So hope you will be enjoying it. And so in this tutorial, uh, what we are going to learn is uh, like how to disable the shop page when, uh, on the WooCommerce website. So uh, why I am coming with this uh, tutorial because uh, one of my clients asked me to disable the shop page from the WooCommerce website. So uh, I have done some research. So there is no any easy way to you know disable your shop page because I have done like I have disabled, uh, like I have deleted the shop page also. Then I have deleted, uh, unpublished the shop page also. But none of that uh, method has worked. So I have even tried with the DB theme builder also. So I created a DB shop module and then disabled it. But still the shop uh, URL was working uh, correctly. So let me just show you what we are going to uh, means. Uh, doing this tutorial so this is my client website what uh, we are going to do is like uh, this is the shop URL. okay and whenever you will be installing WooCommerce you would be getting this by default a uh, shop URL and that you can't you know disable it like if you will go to the page section you can't uh, you can't you know disable it if you will dis uh, delete this page also then also it will Becoming because this page is being uh, hooked with the uh, WordPress uh, PHP code, so uh, you can't do that thing. So this is the shop page which I have designed. So let me just log in with my uh, login to this website. So now as you, uh, we will go to the theme builder. First of all, I will show you what are the things which I have done. After that, we will see how to achieve that thing. So see, I have designed a shop page from the theme builder. So let's say suppose if I want, uh, if I disable this page uh, means this design. So might this page will be disabled? No, this will not be disabled. But let me just show you what will happen. I have disabled this theme uh, template. Now let me just refresh it. So as you can see, the design has changed because I have disabled the that shop module. But the uh, basic layout which comes with the uh, shop page is there like all products are there and a sidebar is there okay now let's just delete this page if you think that if I, we will delete this shop page and then this page will be disabled let's just try that thing let's go to the shop uh, all pages this is my shop page now what i will do i will simply delete it Now just let's refresh it and see if this page has gone or not. No, is the page is still present. So, so I have done some research and I got a code which per which works perfectly. And I will be uh, you know uh, either making a blog post and adding that code in that section, or I will be linking in the description. So you can always uh, you can. You can check in the description whether I have linked a blog post or a code. So what you have to do is uh, just install a, a plugin which is snippet. So let me just show you. Go to the uh, plugin, add the plugin, and search here snippet. So this is the plugin which you need to install and why I am asking to install this plugin because like if you will add that uh, PHP code in the function file but uh, when there will be update in WooCommerce or in the WordPress then that code can you know uh, can be replaced or can be uh, deleted so in, in order to just uh, do it in safe side you can just install this plugin so I have also installed this plugin and this plugin has a good rating and a good number of active installation just activate it 
and after activation you will be getting this section now tap on here so just go to uh, so just go to add new and uh, add uh, let's say we want to disable shop just simply copy the code from blog section and paste it over here so what this function is uh, doing is it's just disabling this uh, uh, this shop page so now we will what we will do like we will save and activate okay now let's just refresh now let's just refresh it so now you can see we are getting a 404 error so it is not a page present and the shop page has been disabled and this is disabled so now what you have to do like uh, uh, we can add a 404 redirection so that when someone will uh, visit to this shop page what you can do is like you can redirect them to the home page so in order to achieve that thing what we have uh, what we will do like there is a plugin uh, called redirection plugin and that is also a very great plugin and handy plugin so what you have to do is simply just install that plugin redirection plugin and this is the plugin i have already installed now after installation so this plugin is developed by the john uh, godley and he is a great creator you can you know uh, use his plugin and now what you have to do is like you have to go to the tools and then you will be getting a redirection option what you have to do is uh, simply copy this url and paste in the source url and give your home page url in the target location target url and then add redirect so we, our redirection has been done and now let's just see what actually happens so we what we will do is like we will simply refresh this page now you can see we have uh, we uh, we have redirected to the home page let me just type shop url once again and see what happens so our so our logic has been done and uh, the shop page has been disabled and it will redirect the user to the home page only so hope you enjoy this small tutorial video and uh, thanks for subscribing to my youtube channel and uh, hope uh, uh, hope you are liking my content and please share this uh, this videos to the people who, who would be interested in that and you can always leave a comment or a query if you have and uh, and my youtube channel is back and uh, hopefully uh, you would be enjoying all the content which i will be releasing in coming days thank you